the easiest way to read a tape. You may need to know how to read a tape for a job or to measure a gator or a snake. You only need to memorize three spots on the tape to help you read it. A tape is divided into equal spaces overlapping scales. Some tapes measure 32 to 64 marks or equal spaces in an inch. The 1 16th scale is most commonly used. In fractions, any number over itself is a whole, or in this case, a whole inch. On the half inch scale, the half inch mark is equal distance from one inch mark to the next inch mark. On some tapes, the vertical line for the inch mark goes top to bottom. On other tapes, it's just the longest line. The half inch mark is always shorter than the inch mark. Notice that 2 over 2 falls right on the inch mark because 2 over 2 equals a whole inch. Next, quarter inch scale divided into four equal spaces. The quarter inch mark is shorter than the half inch mark. Notice that the quarter inch and the three quarters are shorter than the two fourths mark. That is because 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 2 divided by 4 equals 2. So, a half is just a reduced version of 2 fourths. The top number 2 is half of the bottom number 4. Next is a 1 8 scale. The 1 8 marks are shorter than the quarter inch marks. Look at 1 8, 3 8, 5 eighths and 7 eighths. 4 eighths is at the half inch mark. The last scale is 1 16th scale and the shortest mark. 1 16th, 3 16th, 5 16th, 7 16th, 9 16th, 11 16th, 13 16th, and 15 16th. Memorize that 4 16th is a quarter inch. 8 sixteenths is a half. 12 sixteenths is three quarters. If you know that 4 sixteenths is a quarter inch, then you know that 1 sixteenth mark before the quarter inch is 3 sixteenths. And 1 sixteenth after the quarter inch mark is 5 sixteenths. If you know that 8 sixteenths is a half an inch, then you know 1 16th mark before and after is 7 16th and 9 16th. If you know that 12 16th is 3 quarters, then you know 1 16th mark before and after is 11 16th and 13 16th. The first 1 16th mark is 1 16th. The last 1 16th mark is 15 sixteenths right before the inch mark which is 16 sixteenths if the thing you are measuring falls on the one at one eight mark it can only be one eight three eighths five eighths or seven eighths note that every mark has a special way it is said for instance you wouldn't say measure you wouldn't say the measurement is 12 sixteenths. It would be said three quarters. You don't want to sound like a couillon. That's French for idiot. I'll say the correct way for you. One sixteenth, one eighth, three sixteenths, one quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, half an inch, nine sixteenths, five eighths, 11 sixteenths, 3 quarters, 13 sixteenths, 7 eighths, 15 sixteenths. Notice all the fractions, top numbers are odd numbers, and the fractions are reduced to the lowest form. Here's some lanyard. That means a little something extra in French. This is how you would write 1 foot 6. The mark after the 1 means foot. And the mark after the six means inches.
Sorry about the 2 eighths and 5 sixteenths. It's got some kind of smudge. I couldn't fix it. I worked as a fitter building stuff out of steel for about 37 years. I used my tape a lot building ships, barges, and offshore crew quarter buildings. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a video on the metric tape.